<laughs> and howdy doody to you doody howdy do i am tom the bear whisperer how the heck are you hey i am still working on the warhammer see that's the other thing I was complaining a little bit about the price of the Warhammer. M is, is a fantastic, marvelous beer. It does run about $10 a bomber, which I find a little expensive for me. Uh, but, you know, for some people it's not going to be. Um, the price isn't. I've had a few serious beers and not friends for Mike. That price isn't an issue for them. Well, I'm glad it is not, but times are tough for many. <laughs> you know, price is an issue. But the other issue I have is that, well, they only come in these 22-ounce bottles. Hey, if you can share with a friend, that's awesome. But sometimes, you know, 22 ounces is a lot of freaking ounces. Uh, uh, so anyway, I did one video for it. But I'm going to sit back and relax and do one more with it here. Pour it. Uh, there is a lot of aromas going on. They do mention a lot of flavors on their website, and I mentioned the first video, so I'm not going to go over them again. <laughs> We're just going to have a conversation now. I mean, I'm not going to go into the description other than tell you it is wonderful. Um, very piney hops. There are some other aromas going on. Uh, one of the otter aromas that you don't usually get to be like, this is pineapple, that they mentioned, and I, I wasn't getting it until I read it, but then I was, what you're looking for, you go, oh, yeah, it is there. Um, oh. oh, God. The taste is phenomenal. You do get some big flavors right up front. Um, there, there certainly is some honey there, uh, some biscuity malt. Uh, very resiny. Uh, the hops are definitely. Uh, it is only 83 IBUs, and I say only 83 uh, because uh, many Imperial IPAs go go 100 plus these days. So, um, so I'm trying something here. Uh, I, I I did a video for my Green Ore whiskey. So, and I'm just kind of working on a, a separate uh, jigger here, as you can see. I got this uh, Jameson glass. At a Central West End restaurant called the Wildflower, and if you're paying attention, <laughs> you've heard me talk about them before, because that was the very first place that I had the uh, Forehand Centennial Reprise Red. Uh, it is a beautiful beer, but that was the first place I've had it. Mm. This is the first time I've had the green ore whiskey. Well, I didn't know the but I mean, you know, today's the first day. Uh, I've, I've had uh, the green ore whiskey. I hadn't been familiar with it. Um, it is an eight-year-old single-grain Irish whiskey. Uh, the uniqueness is it is made with corn, while most Irish whiskeys are not. Uh, corn is generally used for, for bourbons. The reason is corn imparts a lot of sweetness. That's why bourbons, uh, bourbons aged in in uh, charred oak barrels, you you get you get the sweetness from the corn. You get a varying degrees of smokiness depending on the bourbon you're buying, and uh, uh, so uh, anyway, this is aged in. Uh, First fill bourbon barrels, so I mean, so you do get some of that bourbon uh, into it, but but I actually thought being a, a predominantly of corn, I expected, I, I expected, you know, I expected uh, to be to be more bourbon like, and it really is not. Uh, it is more like an Irish whiskey, with, with some differences. Um, well, many Irish whiskeys are sweet. I mean, I recently had the Con Canada. It's very sweet. Uh, it's also very malty for a, a blended whiskey. Uh, and the difference with that whiskey is it's partially aged in bourbon barrels and partially aged in wine barrels, which would uh, account for the sweetness there. There, I'm guessing here, I'm guessing the sweetness is off in the corn, but 
it's got a very different texture, and that's what I'm finding extremely wonderful about this whiskey. It is just velvety smooth. There is nothing harsh about this at all. Uh, it is just incredibly wonderful. It's certainly a whiskey you could shoot easily, but why would you? You know, <laughs> you know. The only purpose of shooting something is to get drunk or faster. And and if you're a true lover of alcohol, you don't want to get drunk faster. You want to uh, you want to enjoy every step of getting there. You know, uh, for a true lover of whiskey and beer, it's not about getting drunk. That's just a pleasure, uh, uh, a pleasant after effect. The pleasure is getting there, man. So don't, so don't shoot this if you don't have to. Sip it and enjoy it. You know, sip it over five minutes or sip it over 30 minutes. You know, do whatever works for you. But, but don't slam it down, man. There's too many good flavors here to miss. Huge vanilla. I am getting slight smoky, but certainly not bourbon-esque. Uh... The predominant flavor here is 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 the predominant flavor is uh, actually vanilla. But again, for me, the star of that whiskey is the texture. I mean, it is just so silky, velvety smooth. It is just one of the smoothest whiskeys I've ever had in my absolute life. It is just incredibly wonderful. And it's completely unique at the same time. So, what you're probably asking yourself right now is, why would this freaking moron drink a 9% 83 IBU beer with an 80 proof shot of Irish whiskey? And the good answer to that is, there is none. I don't know. I just, you know, <laughs> I, I just poured a shot and sit there. It's not like I've got a, a, an agenda. I just thought, well, I did a video of just the whiskey. I did a video of just the beer. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> the more the Rick and Mary are right, brother. Hey, you heard it. Some. Anyways, I've digressed. Uh, uh. There is a lot of flavors here. I'm getting more. Uh, now that I was before, now that it's uh, about this warm just a tad, uh, I'm getting some different things. Uh, and I'm not going to go into Beer Geek Scheme. You know what? If you want to know exactly what flavors are in this beer, go buy it yourself. <laughs> or read somebody else's review. You know? <laughs> I'm just talking, people. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. Uh, holy mother of pearl. I just heard that they're making a a version of Shoots and Ladders for the elderly. They're calling it Shits and Bladders. <laughs> I kill me. Uh, anyway, I've digressed. <laughs> and apparently the 9% of the beer and 80 proof and the whiskey is starting to get to me. Anyways... Uh, what did the elephant say to the naked man? How the hell you breathe through that? Uh, anyways, now I really digressed. Uh, now I'm telling really bad jokes. Uh, shit, some bladders. Tell me that wasn't hilarious. Anyways, holy crap. Why haven't I stopped this video? Because that's probably what you're asking yourself. As I was trying to finish this glass of beer I was working on before I stopped, I've obviously ran out of things to say, so a smart man would have stopped recording. But uh, as you can tell, I'm, I'm an absolute moron. So, mm. You are an absolute moron, Tom, but some of are going to ask for what like about you, you old so-and-so. Anyways, uh... Well, uh, I gotta say, I've, I just criticized them for being too expensive on another video. And I would like to see this at less than $10 or 22 ounce bomber. But the truth is, is that, I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, if you're a fan of the style, this really is wow good. Uh, everything about this beer is superb. Four hands is really, uh, Oh my god. 
uh, an incredible craft brewery. And now I feel a little bit guilty about criticizing for the price, but you know, I, I you know I think nine ninety nine for a twenty two ounce bomber is a little excessive, but this really is an incredible beer. So I gotta go. Bye bye.